Wow, look at the face on that one. My, the face on that black one. It does look like Eddie. Team training course that we do with all of our, our graduates. That course began in April this past spring. And we're going to invite that group on stage right now and then we'll introduce them to you. So here's how it's going to work I'm going to read the name of the graduate and then I'm going to um, have the foster home that did the training present the dog to the graduate and uh, they're going to hand over the leash, so to speak. Um, I would appreciate it though if you hold your applause till we get to the very end so that everyone can hear the names. Okay? So the first graduate is Jamie Anderson and presenting her service dog, Cleo, is foster home trainers Barb and Dave Patchen. Presenting his service dog, Hazel, foster home trainers, um, Gina and Ben Anderson. Our next graduate is Luke Hankey, presenting his service dog, Hugo, his foster home trainers, Diane and Tim, Don and family. Give this wonderful group of people a round of applause. Once again, if you could hold the applause until the very end when I've introduced everybody. Our first graduate is Paul Flick, and presenting his service dog, Franny, our foster home trainers, Ann Prosser and David Nightingale. Our next graduate is Jason Halverson, presenting his service dog, Atticus, Foster home trainers Dana and Ken Dangstrom.
I've also been able to go back to church and uh, not be worried about crowds like you. Um, no offense. <laughs> <laughs> the, the noise of church and the chaos of church is, I, I don't want that to sound wrong, but um, it's a little bit too much. Um, but Atticus makes it bearable and makes it enjoyable. And, and I feel blessed. Um, so many different things I want to say. Um, with Atticus and I will be starting a new job on Monday the 19th. Um, never would have been given that opportunity had it not been for him. And uh, I'm, I'm just really grateful. Uh, the foster families, Helping Paws, everybody, my family, uh, my in-laws, everybody who's been supportive of this process. It's not easy to be a guy without a physical injury that walks around with a service dog and constantly gets questions on um, what is the dog for. But with all that support, it makes it a lot easier to answer the questions and stand tall on and chin up. So thank everybody. Uh, Joe Colpage, I was Army Infantry, one deployment to Iraq in 0405. Um, it's just been a very great to have Bogey in my life and I'm extremely grateful to Lynn and Allen and everybody with the organization that's uh, you know brought us together and uh, it's been really helpful to kind of actually get outside of my personal space bubble and go to places I haven't been before or, you know go to places that I haven't uh, been to in a while that I used to go so it's nice to have him. Uh, I know he's always got my back, and he's just uh, always there for me. So it's just, uh, you know, I really can't express my gratitude enough to everybody that's involved. Well, I got Ernie here. My name is Zach Robertson. Um, Ernie's helped me out tremendously. Before I had Ernie, I isolate myself and wouldn't leave the house for anything. Ernie's helped me establish a better relationship with both my daughters by helping taking them to the, their swim practices, which I would have never done before by myself, and now I'm able to with Ernie. Also one of our favorite, Ernie and my favorite activities now are taking my five-year-old to preschool every morning. At all the preschoolers love to see Ernie walking through the door. <laughs> um, I can't thank Steve and Heather and Helping Paws enough. It, this is an amazing organization for all they do. So our first graduate is Andrew Brennis, presenting his successor service dog, Kira, sponsor home trainers Leanne and Perry Jewell family. Our next graduate is Janice Colnane, presenting her successor service dog, Elsie and Becky Prawl and Clint Punting. And our next graduate is Tara Wurchies, and presenting her successor service dog, Nico, is foster home trainer, John Litch. Successor dog, and um, she's <laughs> yeah, what you find it. her. Uh, what she does for me is she does a lot of uh, doors and she retrieves things for me. And um, even though I might plan exactly what I'm going to need when I get to a place and I'll line everything up, invariably something falls or I knock something over and then she goes and gets it. So it's a little hiccup during the day, but. She's able to fix those, and the best way to get rid of hiccups is a good distraction, and she does that beautifully. <laughs> when I get frustrated with something fell, I just kind of say to her, and I think, how do I tell her? And she brings it so eagerly with her tail, and it just <coughs> but 
makes it an easy thing when things happen rather than a problem. I am just so grateful for um, just filled with gratitude at this moment for all that's happening. I'm so appreciative of Helping Cause. I want to thank them, everyone at Helping Cause, all of the people who work there and all of the volunteers. And I especially want to thank the foster families. Um, Becky and Clint were Elsie's foster family and they just did a lovely job. But in addition to them, I want to thank all foster families, uh, past, present, and future. So uh, they're really the lifeblood of this organization. I want to thank my family too. They helped me kind of open my heart to another dog and they kind of got me ready for um, the idea of having another dog after my, as a successor dog. They also have done a very good job of not giving her treats. It's <laughs> <laughs> really hard thing to do, so I want to thank them for doing that. That's been hard. And I want to thank these classmates of mine. Oh my goodness, we had so much fun together. They, they gave me a lot of uh, assistance and support and got their insight and encouragement on different things and we just had a real enjoyable time. We just had so much fun kind of learning how to enjoy these uh, gifts that we've been given. But Elsie is my gift and um, it's from all of you, all of the people who uh, support Helping Paws. And I'm just so humbled by the fact that I've been given this dog. I just think it's so much more than I deserve, but I'm gladly going to accept it anyway. It's just such a lovely gift. And um, I just, I, what I can say is I just want to promise. Everybody, and I'm going to be able to say this, I want to promise everybody that during my time with Elsie, I am going to give her the care the love, the opportunity to serve in a way which honors the sacrifice and the effort and the love from Becky and Clint and everyone else and what and all of you who have done so much to get us where we are today. Thank you. Teach positive reinforcement to him for two and a half years and then turn off the leash. Thank you. Thank you, all the foster families, Eric and Brenda and Joe and My name is Vicki, and this is my service dog, Olive, who's my best friend. Um, I would like to thank the Helping Paws organization for providing me with my service dog and my best friend. The expertise, the training, the patience and the kindness they have provided me and Olive has been truly extraordinary. In addition, none of this would have been possible without Amber, Olive's foster. I want to thank you, Amber, for your unselfish, generous, and long-term commitment to training, followed by the willingness to give her up and let go of such a precious gift so that I can remain as independent as possible. Life has a way of leading us down so many paths we don't expect, but I have to say that because of this tremendous experience, I have once again been given the opportunity to meet many kind and courageous people who have their own hurdles in life and who have also been able to benefit by this program and receiving their assistance dogs. One last and important thing goes, I want to say thank you to my husband for his support and understanding for this entire process, as well as my wonderful niece and my great friends who fought through the traffic to get here and share this magnificent accomplishment and experience with me tonight. It means so very much. And for those of you that know me and know I like to talk a lot and who are really hoping that I wouldn't, I'm going to end it here and pass it over. Last one. Uh, my name is Kara. This is Miko. And when I was placed with my first service dog, I knew it would be an amazing opportunity.
opportunity, but I have no idea how much it would change my life. I have been blessed with two amazing service dogs and now have been given another with Miko. The companionship alone has meant the world to me. I have been given my independence back and I'm not afraid to go out and afraid to drop something and have to wait for somebody to come and pick it up for me. I have enjoyed every second I've had with each one of my service dogs and I'm so excited to start the journey with Nico. I know we'll make an amazing team. I want to personally thank everyone who was involved in this process, especially John Lynch for his dedication in training Nico. It's because of people like you that I've been given a part of my life back, so thank you. On behalf of everyone at Helping Paws, I want to congratulate all of our new teams tonight. We're proud of each and every one of you, and we wish you the best in the future. And we look forward to working with you and your assistant dogs to help you enjoy your life to the fullest. As we end our program tonight, I want to bring us back to our new mission statement. The mission is to further people's independence and quality of life through the use of assistance dogs. Did you guys see some examples of that tonight? <laughs> I sure did. Training these dogs takes a whole lot of people. And I always like to think of Helping Paws as a giant family. And I'll give you guys a secret. You're all part of the family now. Thank you for being here tonight. Please join us for refreshments in the cafeteria on your way out and safe travels home tonight.